powerful algal blooms, also referred to as HABs, are overgrowths of algae and water that can occur almost anywhere across the globe. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency states that HABs are a major environmental problem in all 50 states and warns that algal blooms can be toxic, so people and pets should be kept away from water that is green, scummy, or smells bad. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration also reports that although human illnesses caused by HABs are rare, they can be debilitating or even fatal. Harmful algal blooms can occur in both fresh and marine waters. Red tides, blue-green algae, and cyanobacteria are examples of HABs that can have severe impacts on human health, aquatic ecosystems, and the economy. In addition to potentially producing extremely dangerous toxins that can sicken or kill people and animals, harmful algal blooms can create dead zones by depleting oxygen in the water, raise treatment costs for drinking water, and hurt a wide range of industries that depend on clean water. According to the United States Geological Survey, harmful algal blooms are affected by a complex set of physical, chemical, biological, hydrological, and meteorological conditions, including excessive nutrients, primarily phosphorus and nitrogen. Nutrient pollution from human activities makes the problem worse, leading to more severe blooms that occur more often. In May of 2019, the EPA released Recommended Human Health Recreational Ambient Water Quality Criteria, or Swimming Advisories, for Microcystins and Cylindrospermopsin to address human exposure concerns. Microcystins and Cylindrospermopsin are two types of toxins produced by cyanobacteria, commonly referred to as blue-green algae, which can be found in freshwater and marine ecosystems. These are just a few things to know about harmful algal blooms and their impact on the environment and communities. To learn more about this or other aquatic, environmental, health, or safety issues, please visit the websites shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.